Welcome back to another video. I'm fairly confident that you could probably tell that that entire opening sequence was shot using a mobile phone of some sort. As a matter of fact, I used my iPhone XS to shoot that entire weird opening. I used one little piece of accessory, and it's this guy right here. This is a macro lens made by a company called Sandmark. If you are into photography at all, you've probably heard of their name before. They camera accessory company that make lens attachments, ND filters for mirrorless cameras, for mobile phones, for GoPros, for drones, and yeah. Me personally, I've heard of them from their ND filters, probably because I used to fly a drone and I remember looking at their site and I've always wanted to buy one of their filters. So I got really excited when they reached out and asked if I would like to try their macro um, lens attachment for mobile phones. And I said, sure, why not? I was actually really curious to see what I could create using just my phone. And I mean, it was simple. I didn't mess with the settings. I didn't even have to download a special app to control any sort of settings on the iPhone. I literally just shot the iPhone as is because I feel like sometimes for my creativity, I have to limit myself with the tools because that's when I really try to start to think outside of the box. And I kind of came up with just that little, I don't know, 30 second film if you can call that a film. And I wanted to see how good this thing actually is. And as, as a matter of fact, I was really surprised at how close it got to the object that I was trying to film. The tricky part was obviously because you're zoomed in like all the way in, very minute like little movements can register. So I had to be very, very careful when I was moving the camera around. So I tried to place objects in front of me and just slowly, very carefully hover this uh, my phone over the object so I could get more detail. I mean, you saw a video and video, it's not honestly the best way to capture these little details when using this lens. And I say that because I've used this lens to take photos of different objects just here in my office. And I was kind of blown away. Like here's an example of me using it, uh, using an iPad, just because it's easier for me to actually look at the screen and well, frankly, film it so that you guys can see the quality of the photos. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave the actual photo that I took using this somewhere in the description that you can download it and check it out yourself. I want to show you guys how much detail you can actually capture using this tiny little thing, which is really, really impressive. What's also cool is that they didn't just send the lens itself. They actually sent me a camera casing where I can place the lens on the case itself when it's attached to my, cam my phone, obviously and then I can just screw the lens in. That way I don't have to try to match it and clip it on the phone. But having this clip feature though is actually really handy. Like what if I really like the case that I'm using and I don't wanna take it out of my, I mean, take my phone out of it. I can definitely use this. I mean, it, it works great. I've tried it so many times. The other thing that I really liked that they also added was this little lens cap that you see right here. The real purpose of this is to give you an actual distance as to how far the lens should be uh, from the object that you're trying to take a picture of so that you get the maximum uh, focus. If you just use this and kind of just hover it over the object like this, then you can be certain that your shots are going to be nice and crispy. So who is this for? Honestly, it's just for creatives. I think like myself who like to play with photography stuff. You know, if you're like me, we're kind of just stuck at home right now because of everything that's going on. So we're just like that little kid who just wants to go outside and run and play and, you know, just finding little things to do, just something different. So this gave me the opportunity to actually kind of stretch my my creative legs, if you can call it that. So I thought maybe I should make a film using this and see what I can come up with. Honestly, I had so much fun using this and just taking photos. You can actually use this to take photos of textures and whatnot and make them into your wallpaper if you wanted to, because I think that's the next thing I'm going to do with this one. This actually just reminded me of how fun it is to take photos of just your phone. I mean, people obsess so much about gear, the cameras, the new thing that's coming out. I need that so I can take better photos. Whatever happened to just the fun of photography in itself? We pretty much all have cameras in our pockets. And once a new iPhone comes out, for example, they start selling the phone as if it were an actual camera. 
But I digress. Sandmark obviously has a lot of other products such as ND filters, and they actually have a telephoto attachment for the iPhone as well. I might check that one out. I'm not really sure. Again, Sandmark, thank you for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. I think I'm going to play around with this with my daughter and then see if we can capture some insects or something. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And like always, I'll leave everything that I've discussed or shown in this video down in the description so that you can find them fairly easily. Also, don't forget to check out my podcast with fellow creative Chelsea Horn. We call it the Coffee with Creators podcast, and we just passed the 10th episode. We're pretty excited for it. So please come check us out. We talk about content creation and just life in general as creatives. I think you might enjoy that. It's just like hanging out with your friends. We're your friends. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys again in the next video. But until then, take care and be kind to one another. Thanks.